Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the... I kind of don't really want to play as a bullet because I feel like I always play as a bullet, but I'll play as a freaking bullet. I'll play as a freaking bullet, okay? I was tempted to just, you know, nudge the wheel and play as the gunslinger because I haven't played him that often lately, but... If there's one thing I like about the bullet, it's being able to swing dodge roll into enemies and kill them at great risk to myself. <laughs> I love that risky, risky play in Gungeon, you know? That's what I live for. Yoink! I love just being a madman and not caring about my own well-being at all. I don't care if I take damage, whatever, who cares? If I have to fight a boss, I'll just fight a boss with, you know, no range weapon. I'll do it. I'm not a coward. It's gotten to the point, I think, where if I'm playing as the bullet, I have to play recklessly. It's the only way I can feel pleasure. <laughs> well, you're gonna fire a bullet. Oh, you're not gonna fire a bullet. I got a, I got a bomb. He's a bomb. And we're back up to full health, just like that. Bam. You gotta believe in the Gungeon. Believe that it will get you where you need to go. Give me some rope, says, do you have anyone you could play co-op Gungeon with? I am down to play some co-op Gungeon. I have a uh, an IRL housemate friend named Chris. And we've played a bunch of Gungeon together in co-op. And he's currently visiting family. He's been visiting family for like the last month. I think he just wanted an excuse to leave the house for a little while. Um, but when he gets back, we're gonna definitely be playing some more multiplayer type of stuff together. And uh, you know, if we play a little bit of Gungeon, I think I'd be perfectly okay with that. Now, if we're talking about random people from chat, I think the thing is, I think that it's gonna be a little bit too laggy to be enjoyable. Cause you have to have fast reflexes in a game like Gungeon. It's not like, Call of Duty where you gotta headshot everybody, but it's it's not far off, you know? You gotta be able to dodge bullets. You gotta be able to shoot bullets at enemies. You need to be able to, to have your actions take effect when you want them to take effect. Did I buy a key? I did. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money for another key though. All right, so let's just go fight the boss and we'll see what happens after this. I don't think you could carry someone that hard though. <laughs> I think I could carry someone hard. I mean, I carry Chris all the time. <laughs> but, um, it's also just like, Sure, I could, oh God, I, that was strange. I could probably do it, but I think it would be, cost a little bit of enjoyment, you know? You'd be underpowered, because every time you have to bring someone back to life, you would, uh, it would take you I, an item, because it, it takes a chest to do it. Actually, if someone respawns at the end of a boss fight in Gungeon, does that take the item? I can't remember if it takes the item or not. Hmm. It's gold, AB, you know the rule. No, the rule is black. The rule is gold sometimes, black all the times. If there's a black chest on the first floor, I'll open it. If there's a, a red chest, the thing is, there's no game changing. That's a, a good item in case we're blowing up the chest. But like black chests are game changing. There's no game changing red item. What are you gonna get, gun soul? Oh, oh yay.
But black, you've got seven leaf clover, you've got your clones, you've got your, your, I mean, that's extremely good. You've got your uh, the other garbage. You got a lot of garbage. Okay, we should have probably come in here before we broke the chest anyways, but we're whatever, whatever. To Poppy Gary, hello, welcome, how you doing? Uh, you didn't miss anything except for us just breaking a uh, gold chest. I had good reason though, I didn't have a key at the time. Quartermaster blob. Blob, 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 blob. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I should have probably just looked for the secret room first. We would have had a free key. Oh well. But again, like red chests, they're, they're never going to be game changing. Go, go, go. Wait, I just had to jump out. Is he a bullet now? Says Mega Man. Sorry, says man. Well, man, uh, we finished the last run. We're playing another run. We're the bullet. Welcome back. <laughs> Watch the previous run to find out how it ended. One day I'll do a bullet run and then I won't just like dodge roll into all enemies and get myself killed, but until that happens, I'm gonna dodge roll into the enemies and get myself killed. It's what I do. Stay true to yourself, man. They get good guard flash. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> Like, they, they tried to fix it so many times and it's like been a mechanical change a few times. It don't matter. Oh, 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 oh! I was so invested in using the C4, I just took a hit for no reason. No, there was a reason. The reason was I wanted to use the C4. All right, it's all going wrong. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. We know when he dies, all of his bullets will be destroyed. Heck yeah. We also have Mega Dowser, so you know. Don't worry. If we can't use a sword anymore, guys, if we got a Mega Dowser, we'll be fine. Hello. How's it going, Beatty? I always find it weird that there's BDs down here. It's not the beholster floor. It'd be cool if there was like a Easter egg or something related to the BDs, like kill enough of them and then the beholster will just spawn and try to kill you. Oh no, the Alloy Vulture Protection Unit. Oh god, no! <laughs> All right, let's go and grab this shop real quick. I mean, I don't really want any of it, except I will buy the key. Quad laser is interesting. You know, if we had Moon Scraper, definitely. But quad laser by itself is, is not as good of a gun as it would need to be, I think. Don't diss the bomb last run, don't diss the C4 this run until you get another active item, at which point absolutely get rid of the C4 for something else. <laughs> Plague pistol. Hey, you know what? It's better than the Mega Dowser and it's still a gun. I never even... I never know what NVM means, says Dragonflame. NVM, never mind. Are we gonna are we gonna give you a, a lesson in <laughs> internet chat culture? Well LOL I don't know, I can't think of a good pun for for LOL. Chat can help me on that one. He 
You know what? I really hate you in particular. Chewbacca says that on one run they killed the beholster and all the BDs on the floor stopped working. That is correct. That's what happens. It's very weird. It's like the BDs on the floor. The game doesn't differentiate them between the ones that exist in the boss room. That's one of those things in Gungeon where it could actually just be an Easter egg, but I think it's probably a bug. Like, you know, the BDs in the boss room stop aggroing the player when you kill the bolster. Why not the BDs on the rest of the floor? But really, I think that whoever programmed the game just said, search all the BDs for the floor instead of all the BDs in the boss room, just like a programming error. But it's one of those things that it's hard to determine what it actually is. You know, and I'm sure Dodgerel doesn't even know. Like, they'd have to go through their emails and like their design document for the game to actually make that determination. They'd have to be like, well, I don't remember asking for this to happen. John, when you in, when you uh, implemented the Beholster, did you make it so that all the BDs on the floor would be stunned? Well, I don't remember doing that. It wasn't in the design doc. It must have been a bug. Yo, that is a slow moving rocket fist. Dragonflame says, bro, I'm turning 20, I'm not that old. Yeah, but you didn't know what NVM is. <laughs> that's like, that's one of the easy ones. Ah, oh, I was gonna even put down a freaking C4 and then pop it to block some bullets. What about IDK? No one even, no one ever tells me that, says, Give me some rope. I don't know what it means. I like the I like the joke though, because you know they're trying to tell them what it means, and they just say I don't know. And they're like, "Well, big big help you are." Get it? Um. Ah, oh, jeez. Like it's fifty four even. Okay, if we can't afford it, we can't afford it. Let's ignore it. Also, we're not, I guess we're not doing the, the, you know, old king again. Hey, heck yeah. Nailed it. That's a good synergy. Like you could get the synergy with the hammer, but by getting it with the heavy bullets, we also get the benefit of heavy bullets, of course. Dragon Flame says, I'm a mini boomer, so I don't know what all these hippie short things mean. All you need to know is LOL, IDK, and then you need to know what an eggplant means. That's it. That's like 90% of, of what you're gonna need. Yoink. And it totally just means eat healthy. I'd get yellow chamber. I think I would. Faster rate of fire. Two HP up. Occasional helpful enemies. You shot me? I mean, you know, good shot. That's all I, all I can say. You did good, kid. You did good. Thanks, Abe. Very cool. No problem. I'm taking dumb damage here. That's okay. We'll stop taking damage. Mm, nah. No damage for the rest of the run. Yo, is that thing two-shotting regular bulletkins? If you mean this gun, one, 
and then he died instantaneously to fire. So yeah, the nail gun is two-shotting standard bulletkins. It's pretty, it's pretty okay, I gotta say. I'm happy with it. Yo, I'll definitely take ammo for it. I mean, you gotta think that the synergies in this game are pretty strong! <clears throat> well, I didn't expect that to happen. And some of the, the bad items and bad guns can be made extremely, extremely, extremely viable with just a couple of synergies, or even just one or two. I mean, just one. This is what I meant to say. I shouldn't even be shooting them. I'm immune to the damage. Andromeda Strain! Synergize it with the Plague Pistol! Pandemic Pistol. Uh, bad time to have this gun. Everyone put on your masks! We got the Pandemic Pistol. <laughs> oh god. We're gonna be spreading this disease far and wide! There should be timely updates to Gungeon, like, you know, Killing Floor-esque. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, whatever, and there should be a pandemic update, and if the enemies have little tiny cute little masks on, they don't take damage from the plague pistol. There you go. There you go, Gungeon. Implement it. You'll earn millions, I say! What gun benefits the most from synergies? I don't know. There's some pretty bad guns in the game that benefit from synergies. <laughs> Old Goldie's ridiculous, says chat. Says Procell. I don't know if, uh... I'd say Old Goldie. It has a couple of synergies that just improve the damage, and it's a shotgun that synergizes. Ah, here you go. This gun synergizes the most with synergies. <laughs> Chamber gun. <laughs> I appreciate that the game gave me an appropriate answer to the question immediately. Yeah, I would I would have to argue that this is probably the best synergy related gun. So, you know, easy question, easy answer. Wind up gun gets pretty good. I suppose you're not wrong. I mean, Gungeon Ant honestly gets extremely powerful on synergies. You know, that's definitely one of the guns that's up there because it's essentially worthless in its current phase. It fires oil and flames and alternating reloads, but the one that is just a rocket launcher is just infinitely better. So, you know, that's definitely up there. You know, you can give me, you can give me fist gun. I'll fist these enemies. Wow, I didn't even have to do anything. I, I still have my rocket in the air. All right, well, next room, I guess. I gotta wait for him to spawn. Do you think I could go like an entire run letting the familiars get the kills? <laughs> oh, he got me, you dick. Cause like, if I just wait, eventually everything will die, right? Chat says Op also gets pretty overpowered. It does get pretty powerful, especially if you can one-shot a boss with it, yes. I will not disagree on that one. Why do I keep thinking the other bullets also home in? It's just the rocket fists. The fist of the heavens. Please. Oh, I, I don't can't even reload it. It's like no wonder. Goodbye. 
I put the C4 down, I'm gonna use it. No reason to use all the ammo for it if we got ammo. I'll open the chest immediately. Oh god, it's the gun. It's the gun that we're gonna always get and never be able to use where it needs to be used. Thanks, Gungeon. You're the best. I'm round! Always, always gonna let me down with those shrines abound! Wow! You just one-shot him! Thank you very much! Why am I even firing my fists? Is he in the water? Oh. I think that's a, that would be a cool Easter egg if you dodge over a pit, the hand goes down into the pit and just goes Pew! That's what I want, that's all I want. This might be the day. Um, it's never the day. It's never the day, it's never the night. We'll never have that shrine. Are you gonna die? You're gonna die. Are you gonna die? Well, I mean, you blow yourself up, so you're gonna die. Come here, come here, come here! Oh, 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 uh oh. Oh, look at that! He's done it! Oh, you were my friend too. I thought you were actually shooting me. Is it the last gun you need for the Beholster Shrine? Says, asks, give me some rope. I think I need like two guns, unfortunately. Procell says, I only placed one gun in the shrine, I think. I think I'm at two more. Uh, I forget the guns though. It's Void Marshal and then I think like, M1911. So really, if we end up picking up the M1911, that's when we need to get scared. I don't think we have Super Machine Pistol yet. I know you can get that with the laser sight or the uh, mechanical boots, bionic legs. But I don't think we're there yet. All right, let's fight this boss. Uh, I don't know. Tetris gun. Perfect time for this. Got him. Good. Just gotta constantly adjust yourself slightly to dodge the attacks. You don't wanna do major dodges, you wanna do minor dodges. Get up there with that C4 whenever it turns into a bell. And we should probably be able to get out of this without even using any blanks, because you are dead, Mind Flayer, you're dead. Easy. Why is Machine Fist A tier when Combined Rifle is B? I mean, for the real answer, the real answer is just because, you know? The, the game has to put items somewhere so it mixes them up so that not all the good guns are in one tier. And I can appreciate that. I think Machine Fist being better would be nice, or like in a better tier would be nice because it's a, it's a cooler gun, you know? Like, it is a gun that fires a fist. <laughs> a rocket-powered fist. That's cool, that's dope, man. So make it a higher tier. Maybe the combine rifle is a little bit too strong, but... Visually speaking, I think it's worth it. Because you fire a rocket fist that is a fist.
Uh, this is so slow. You dick! Oh my god, I hate you. When he's my familiar, he's not even scared of me, so he just buffs everything. If you get one of those guys on your team, they should really buff you. Proso says, I rarely get to use red tier guns. Tried an Emperor and a few more. Thing is, Emperor, Emperor is not that good. It has some good synergies, but if you just get the Emperor, you're like, all right, well, oh well. Don't worry, I'll get him. Your help has been greatly appreciated, mage. I said that with such vileness to it. Mage. What do I think this is, the Inquisition? <laughs> I've never played any Dragon's Age. There's a lot of games out there I should play at some point. Maybe some of them will even be getting to uh, in the coming months. Hello? Like, are you even taking damage? Yeah, Emperor plus Laser Rifle is a great synergy because they uh, fire significantly faster, which means that you can kill things better. But the ammo gets eliminated in the guns. True, you know, this can't have an upside without a downside. Then again, I got people saying that uh, regular old guns is a good synergy, and I just can't help but think to myself, what is the matter with some people? <laughs> That is a foolish thing to, to say, but you know what? I'll keep my mouth shut. Thank you. Well, I'll wait. I'll wait just in case the other chest is wicked and is very good. Ooh. Oh, bad dodge roll. Get out of the way! I can't move! Oh my god, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Doesn't Abe has, have easy reload bullets or is that oiled cylinder? It is the oiled cylinder, but a, a gun like the Machine Fist, it automatically reloads. So, for instance, I'm gonna click the fire button. I'm not gonna reload manually at all. There you go. So in order, oh god, in order to, uh, cheese it, you have to like fire it and, and dodge roll so unbelievably quickly that you bypass the game's uh, auto reloading of the gun, but it's like freaking impossible sometimes. You, I mean, you saw me try it three times there and I didn't get it either, either time. It's tough, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're on my side and you're just gonna fire a skull at me? You weren't even tracking enemies! You were tracking me with that, you fool! Whatever, get nailed. Is that a secret room? No, it wasn't. Is this gonna be the secret room? Well, I mean, it very well could be. There's actually multiple shops over here. Well, there's one shop and one map, man. They gave me easy reload bullets. <laughs> All right, well, I guess now we do have easy reload bullets. Um, again, nothing that really synergizes with it, unfortunately, but maybe chamber gun. Maybe chamber gun. Ha ha ha. Omega lol. Yep. What did that synergize with? Hold up. Tetra's gun. Oh, right, 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 right. I always forget about that synergy. Makes it fire the bullets of the same color as it shots.
You also have to worry about another problem with uh, easy reload bullets, which is that it doesn't always work the way you would expect. Like this gun, for instance, even with easy reload bullets, I still have a, a certain delay between shots. It's not like I can dodge, re or I, I can shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge. There is a small delay. Um, the delay is pretty short, but I'm noticing even when I'm done with my dodge roll, I can't shoot the gun for like a, another half second. So e even easy reload bullets is not a be all end all for, for spamming shots. Dude, also, this run is, like, really freaking good. We have, uh, Yellow Chamber. Gundromeda Strain. Chloranthi Ring. Heavy Bullets. Oiled Cylinder. Great Guns. Good Synergies. It's a pretty good run so far. And honestly, there's like not much that I want to do here. Maybe sell like a couple of guns that we're not using. Like, I don't see why we need a Mega Dowser anymore. So I can probably just get rid of this. It's not synergizing with anything either. <laughs> probably don't need the crossbow. Probably don't need the Gungeon Ant. Probably do not need the Tommy Gun. Can the black market not show up on the forge? I mean, even if the black market could show up on the forge, I don't think we need it. Oh, the Huntsman was the last run. I was thinking to myself, why did I not get a synergy arrow? The Huntsman was the last run, you dummy. You haven't used a Huntsman for the past 40 minutes. Well, that was my bad. <laughs> I think we'll be fine though, but that's still silly. Black marking can show up on any floor, minus bullet hell. Correct, minus bullet hell. Would that make bullet fell, <laughs> bullet fell, would that make bullet hell better if there was a secret black market in bullet hell or a secret hell shop? I think a secret hell shop would be kind of cool, like an imp or something that tried to sell you some items for your soul. Dude, actually, why not? Why not Why not there be a, a bonus shop in hell that takes HP containers or something? Like for one HP, you can have this gun. And it's like, you know, deal with the devil. It's like the Lich is trying to make you weaker by taking your HP. You get a gun, but at what cost? But there's one item that's like six hearts, that's, you know, the, the necklace of storms that when you use that to defeat the final boss, it activates the true secret ending of the game. Did I not have table tech blanks on this run? Was that also the last run? What is happening? I think I'm losing my mind, guys. That was, was that was too. No, cause I was, I was, wasn't I blanking tables while I was dodge rolling into bullets? Oh my God, I don't freaking remember. Or two HP for an S tier gun, who would benefit the most from the trade? Yeah, something like that. And then he just gives you the mimic gun. <laughs> yes, yes. Trade flawless for items, but the Lich gets stronger for them. I mean, that could be the thing, it could be like, the more flawlesses you trade, the better your item is, but then the Lich is like, you have completed my infinity gauntlet. I will murder you in your sleep. Please actually shoot this guy. I hate that you're jammed.
Jesus, my hand hurts. <laughs> Ow. I don't, why does that always happen? I gotta stop spamming the button in that fight so much. Really? <sighs> Alright. No, you gotta die, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say it, but enemies that spam AOE bullets, they have to go. Because you're just going to spam those bullets in my face. I know you better than you know yourself. Shadow bullets. I like shadow bullets. I like YV more, but shadow bullets is pretty good. Ooh, if only I had some more HP. I mean, I got enough HP that if I need money, I can get it, but if only I had more HP. No, you gotta die, you gotta die, you gotta die, you gotta die. Everyone has to die. I don't believe anyone here needs to stay alive. It's a ghost bullet. I like ghost bullets. It's not gonna be good if we ever use the uh, ice rocket launcher again. But, I mean, our machine fist should be okay. Like, if we hit an enemy with the machine fist and it pierces them, it'll just come back around and then shoot them in the back. Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, GT Quark, happy Thursday. Happy, happy Thursday, Thursday. Are we done? No, one more room. Excuse me. Missed like four of my shots. Just waiting on one more chest and then we're out of here. Jesus, this nail gun is, it's pretty freaking strong right now. You gotta love it. Where was it, where was it, where was it, where was it? Oh, I gotta sneeze. Thank God I mute myself. You guys don't have to hear me like break my microphone every time I have to sneeze. Oh, Jesus. I swear it's not COVID. I uh, did some house cleaning the other day. I kicked up a lot of dust and I've got allergies to something. I don't know what it is that I've got an allergic reaction to. It's just something in the dust. Oh man, but I was sneezing for like 30 minutes straight yesterday. Just constant, constant, constant. Woe is me, am I right? Oh! Really thought my explosion would kick him, but then I realized, hey, wait a minute. Dust mites? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's something. Xru, hello, welcome. Asks. Hey, dude. See, everyone's a dude. I told you. Are you considering making a guide on Monster Train? My guide on Monster Train is just watch me struggle my way through the game, because, uh... Because <laughs> we did a lot of learning on the fly. The thing is, in it, like, comparing Monster Train to Gungeon, Monster Train is very much strategic information that you need to know, like, why should you play cards at specific times? Gungeon is more mechanical and, and tactical. You need to know when to dodge, uh, how to use your items, like how to think about certain things. Like, where do you, like, how do I, where do I look when I'm playing a game like Gungeon? Do I look at my character? Do I look at the enemies? Do I look at the bullets on the screen? Do I let my peripheral vision do all the work for me? Oh my God, this freaking gun! I don't think Monster Train needs a. Uh, a how to play video. You suck so hard at it. I think I think honestly just keep keep practicing, keep keep learning. 
keep thinking about, you know, what you're playing and why you're playing it and when you're playing it and what's coming up on the fight and if you should save a card or play it immediately. I think if you do that, you'll be fine. Let's get back up to full health and buy a bomb, a blank, an armor. I guess I'm just stupid then, I'm decent, stupid then, I'm decent in Gungeon, but the thinking maybe isn't my think. I also played a lot of uh, Slay the Spire before I jumped into Monster Train, so I, I was I definitely had a hand, and I've played you know Magic in the past and you know other card games of of a variety of sources. So I, I understand the general strategy of a of a game like that. Although it did take me a while to really figure it out for Monster Train. It's a good game. You know what? No, let's use something else. I don't know, maybe a big iron? Oh God, the bullets are so slow. I guess that's gonna be a problem no matter what gun we use, like especially if we use something like the blooper. Wrong direction. Well, when the enemies come towards me, I think it's less of a problem, but. But I don't think the blooper is gonna be particularly effective. What the heck do we use? Huntsman bullets are slow, those bullets are slow. Jeez, I don't freaking know. Void Marshal? I mean, it does a good amount of damage. It does a really good amount of damage. Kills us enemies in three shots, that's pretty good. And it pierces. You know what, I think I can get behind this. Um, 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 yeah. I'll take it. Flexmer says, I finally played a multi. You unlocked one of his skills. No, wait, you say, oh yeah, I finally played a multi at all, unlocked the one of his skills. And you. <laughs> And you wonder why I don't read chat. Because <laughs> when I have to stop, think about what you're saying, that's precious brain cycles I could be spent talking about how I love the mahogany and how I wish I thought I had it on this run. Did you kill bullets past, says my reshu. It took me a few tries the first time I did it, obviously because it's a difficult pass, but yeah, I, I have the um, the bunny suit. I just didn't want to play the bunny suit. I always play the bunny suit. I never play his original OG Bulletkin. I wanted to play the OG Bullet. Okay, we've also just learned C4 does not hurt you. <laughs> I need to stop typing when I have it on the TV. I don't get to see what I'm typing, says Blexmer. Yeah, you're basically speaking gibberish. <laughs> GT Quirk says, I love the sound Mahogany makes. I had it last run, and then I thought I had it this run, so I bought the Huntsman, and I was disappointed when I realized, hey, I don't actually have the Huntsman. I spent all that curse for nothing. Not Bear Murray, thank you very much for being here. Hello, welcome, etc., etc. 15 months. Hi. So much support from one man. He's not actually Bill Murray. It'd be great if he was. Oh my god, I would love it if you were actually Bill Murray. I love your work. I haven't seen all of it, you know. I'm, I'm not a, a a movie or television aficionado, but everything I've seen you in, I've loved it. 
Including your cameo role in uh, Zombie Land. Is that a cameo role? Because it was like a not a major part, but it was like an actual part. You just played yourself. Hey, come here. Good news, I'm not on fire yet. Honestly, I would too. Yeah, apparently uh, California is not, in Oregon, that area is not doing too hot. <laughs> I love the pictures though. I love the pictures I'm, I'm seeing where it's just like red. I took drone footage of California and set it to the music of Blade Runner. How come no one's gotten like uh what 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 is the what is the the type of car that Mad Max drives? <laughs> How come no one's gotten a Mad Max car driven it through California and been like the year is 2020? Like a uh <laughs> A new take on how movies of the past would always say, in the year 2002. You know, past future, or future past, one of, one of the two. Someone should do that to a parody of uh, the... Okay. All right, that should be enough disk space for me to at least get through the rest of this run. <laughs> I don't think it should take too much. We are ideally like six minutes away from en ending this run anyways. Well, as long as we can kill LJ. Oops. Oh, uh, we gotta do one more room though. <laughs> I was, I, I meant to do that earlier because I knew that I was running low. Just completely forgot about it. You know what? Thank you Windows for at least playing the ding dong sound. Oh my God. Dragonflame is playing Gungeon asks, should I buy RC Rockets? Uh, yes. Considering it's one of the strongest boss killing guns in the game, I think it would be pretty good. Although Blexmer says, I vote no, remote control sucks on console. And Dragonflame is playing on the Switch console. So I guess, yeah, I could understand that. It is kind of difficult to aim things like the RC Rocket. Then again, I don't think it's that bad. Because in general, you use something like the RC rocket against bosses, and against bosses, you're kind of off to one side anyways. You can easily just aim each rocket up into the enemy, and it's not going to be too much of an effort, I feel like. Maybe I got no idea what I'm talking about, but, you know, if you're just hanging off to the left of a boss, just shoot to the right and the shots will hit. It's not like you got to aim around obstacles to hit enemies and whatnot. Shouldn't have to deal with that for the most part. Hold on. We are doing way, way too hot, says GT Cork. Yeah, it's pretty hot down there in California, huh? I remember you were saying it was like over 100. That's pretty hot, it's pretty hot. Thanks, Mud, I assume that was Mud. That was me. <laughs> I think I did it. Maybe someone else did it, I don't know. I think my Twitch chat is like subtly broken because I feel like I'm missing messages from people but I can't tell. Maybe I'll just refresh that window after this run. And you know what? Here we go, nail gun. Time to prove your worth. Nail this boss, yeah! Everyone wants to nail the, the, the lynch. It was Moobler! Man, he's so quick. That was quick, that's what she said. <laughs> Moobler, you're so very quick. Man, the nail gun! That's real freaking strong! <laughs> also, hello, Moobler, how you doing? 
Uh, good run. Lots of good synergies on this one. I mean, just lots of good items, good items in general. Lower HP on enemy units, high damage, good synergies for our guns. Yellow Chamber, Gundromeda Strain, high damage nail gun, chamber gun. We'd love to see it. Good run, and for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.